seismograph system in order to represent the motion of Earth's movement. We were given a frame that is bolted to the Earth. We are given a, an instrument right here with two springs on each side. And on this frame, there's a low friction. We are asked to derive a transfer function that uh, transfer function in response to the Earth's movements. So what we did, we started with the uh, second law right here. And so the sum of the forces, we have our, our friction force, and then we have our spring forces. There's two springs. So we have both the uh, spring forces right here. And so sub, uh, substituting the, uh, the friction force equation that we were given, this is what it comes out to. The next step is to solve for like terms on each side of the equal sign. So once we did that, we can start breaking it apart in order to get to the next step to get the transfer function. We're, we know that uh, we can assume that the movement of the Earth, x, we can say is uh, the amplitude and sine times wt. So w or omega we're given is one radian per second. So we can get big X by our Laplace transforms which we're given, uh, which turns out to be A over S squared plus one. So substituting this into this equation right here, it now moves into our transfer function. So this transfer function is our response to the Earth, is in response to the Earth's movements. After deriving the transfer function, we put the transfer function into MATLAB. We basically inputted values to satisfy the equation. We chose K to be 100, and the mass to be 0 0.01. These values gave us the best representation of the Earth's motion. We assume the Earth's motion to be A sine omega t. When looking at the graph, we see the red line as the Earth's motion, and the blue line is from the transfer function. This means the device is staying still, and the frame is moving at the same rate as the Earth. This is because the device is mounted to the Earth. 